Now let's take a closer look at interval and continuous modes with Quick Check and Quick Alerts EWS disabled. Interval and continuous monitoring modes function in similar ways. Therefore, this interval mode example also applies to continuous mode. To establish interval mode on the VS30 monitor, select Interval from the drop-down menu. The Interval Settings menu will appear. When the Interval Settings menu opens, if you haven't already admitted the patient, then leave both the NBP Auto Interval and the NBP Interval Program set to Off. Touch Done to return to the main screen. In Continuous mode, the same applies for the Continuous Settings menu. In either case, you must first admit your patient before selecting interval or continuous mode in order to prevent the auto interval or interval program settings to be reset to off. The monitoring mode located at the upper left corner of the information bar now says interval or continuous and no patient has been admitted as indicated by the unknown MRN. Once the monitor enters interval or continuous mode, the numeric panes rearrange themselves. If your device is configured with CO2, the main screen displays the CO2 pane in standby. A gray Set Interval button appears next to the green Start NBP button. Be sure to admit your patient first before setting any NBP intervals. Touch Admit to enter your new patient. The New Patient menu appears, displaying patient information fields to be entered. The Primary ID field is indicated with brackets. All other required fields are indicated by an asterisk. If there is no default patient type configured, then the patient type icons will all be displayed in gray, and you will be required to select one of the adult, pediatric, or neonatal icons. Your selected patient type will appear in blue. Note. If a default patient type has been configured, the default icon will display in blue when the New Patient menu opens. To override the default patient type, touch an alternate patient type icon. Once the patient type has been established, enter the required New Patient menu fields manually or with a barcode scanner. A barcode scanner can be configured by your system administrator as standard or programmed. A standard barcode scanner will prompt the user to scan each barcode field sequentially. The prompts appear in red and are displayed in the bottom left corner of the new patient menu. A programmed barcode scanner pulls in all required patient information at once. Once you successfully complete the new patient menu, touch OK. You are returned to the main screen. The patient bar now displays the admitted patient with primary ID shown as MRN00001 and patient type as adult. Alarm limit values for each measurement are automatically assigned according to the patient type selected. Now that your patient is admitted, touch Set Interval located to the left of the green Start NBP button. Select the desired NBP auto interval from 1 to 120 minutes from the drop-down menu. In continuous mode, you will need to select a Save Measurements to Record interval period as well. The Save Measurements to Record interval will trigger all available measurements at that time to be saved to the patient's record. Note, non-continuous or static measurements such as temperature and NBP remain available to be saved for up to one hour. The NBP auto interval period will trigger and automatically save an NBP measurement to a patient's record. After selecting auto interval periods in either interval or continuous mode, you have two options in the settings menu. Either touch done to start an NBP measurement after a delay or touch start interval to immediately begin taking an NBP measurement. The following example shows the starting an NBP auto interval measurement after a delay by touching Done. You will be returned to the main screen. A blinking interval icon in the NBP pane confirms that an NBP auto interval has been set. If there is no interval icon blinking, 
then your NBP auto interval was not established in the interval settings menu. In continuous mode, the blinking interval icon in the NBP pane is displayed when an NBP auto interval is set. When an interval is set to a save measurements to record period, interval icons will also be displayed in the SPO2, pulse and resp panes. However, these icons are not blinking. Once an NBP auto interval period has been chosen, you can start taking a patient's vitals. Properly attach cables and sensors to the patient. Once properly connected, the SPO2 value and derived pulse will display. Apply the appropriate size blood pressure cuff to the patient. Ensure the blood pressure cuff is applied to the opposite side of the body from the hand with the SPO2 sensor. If ETCO2 monitoring is needed, touch the CO2 standby pane on the main screen. The CO2 menu opens and displays current settings in the General tab. Change the CO2 hardware setting from Standby to On. Then touch Done to return to the main screen. After the ET CO2 cannula is applied to the patient, the CO2 numeric pane will display measurements for ET CO2, IM CO2, and IPI if configured. A continuous respiration value will also appear when RESP is sourced from a ET CO2 airway cannula and will display source AWRR. If CO2 is left in standby mode, the only other source for monitoring continuous RESP is if configured with Massimo Rainbow Acoustic Respiration, or RRA. Otherwise, the RESP value is entered manually. If CO2 is turned on in continuous mode, specifically with a set save measurements to record interval period, an interval icon will appear next to the IMCO2 label. In interval or continuous mode, the SPO2 and ETCO2 numeric panes can display waveforms. If the monitor is configured with Massimo Rainbow RRA, a waveform can also be displayed in the RESP pane. To display waveforms, Touch the waveform icon located in the upper right corner of the measurement panes. Once selected, the waveform icons will be highlighted and the waveforms will be displayed. If an NBP measurement has not been taken yet, an interval icon should still be blinking in the NBP pane. To begin taking a patient's NBP, touch the green Start NBP button. The green Start NBP changes to a red Stop NBP button and the blood pressure measurement begins. The preset NBP auto interval time period is displayed next to the interval icon in the upper right corner of the NBP pane. Note, in continuous mode, interval icons will still remain in all continuous measurement panes while NBP is being taken. Wait for NBP measurement results to populate. Once an NBP measurement is complete, the preset NBP auto interval time period and the interval icon still remain in the NBP pane. The running elapsed time since the NBP measurement was completed displays below the NBP measurement, for example, measured 26 seconds ago. The number of minutes until the next interval measurement can be derived by subtracting the elapsed time from the auto interval displayed next to the icon. Temperature is only taken in interval or continuous mode for attended records. If you are taking a patient's temperature, the probe site or source, such as oral or arterial, will appear in the temp numeric pane. While the monitor is calculating the temperature value, an hourglass appears in the pane. When a temperature measurement is complete, a chime will sound and the measurement value appears in either Celsius or Fahrenheit. When ready to save a patient's measurements, touch Save Now. To review saved records, touch the Records icon located in the far left of the toolbar. The Records menu opens, displaying a tabular list of all patients assigned a primary ID in the Patient Records tab. Patient records saved with unknown primary IDs will show up in the Pending Records tab. Patient records saved under certain quick check workflows that require record review and validation will also show up in the Pending Records tab. Touch a patient's record to review more details. A list appears showing all vital sign records saved for that patient with the most recent record displayed at the top. Note, 
If a vital sign measurement is out of the alarm limit range, a box will be displayed around that measurement, as shown in the RESP column here. Touch anywhere on a single patient record to expand it and review detailed information. After completing the record review, collapse the detailed display by touching the up arrow in the lower right corner. You are returned to the tabular list of all vital sign records saved for the patient. The order of the tabular fields can be rearranged by touching the blue settings icon. The saved records can also be printed to the integrated recorder or displayed on screen in graphical format by touching the associated icons located at the upper left under the patient bar. To view the patient's graphical trend chart, touch the graph icon located between the tabular icon and the print icon. Graphical trends can be set to display in one, four, or eight hour time intervals in the time scale drop down menu. Upper and lower alarm limits are displayed to the right of each measurement label. Scroll down by touching the down arrow at the bottom right of the screen to view the remaining measurement trends. After viewing all graphical trends for a patient, touch the back button at the upper left corner of the screen. You are returned to the list of all patients. To close the patient records list, touch the close button at the upper right corner of the screen. You are returned to the main screen where all continuous measurements are still showing. Note, although a temperature measurement is not continuous, the measurement will remain in the temp pane until a new attended temp measurement is taken. Measurements continue to automatically be saved to a patient record when either NBP auto interval or save measurements to record interval is set. Auto intervals for taking and saving measurements are automatically reset to off or the default setting when either A, the monitoring mode is changed, or B, the patient is discharged. Touch the discharge icon in the patient info bar. If you are switching back to spot check mode, do so before admitting your next patient.